Welcome to Present Poetry. I'm your host, Erin Crittenden, and all poems within this podcast are either public domain or are used with permission from the author or the author's estate. It's a fun time for poetry lovers of all ages, so sit back, relax, and get ready to hear some poems of the past and the present. This week's featured poet is Stuart Johns. Stuart Birkin Johns was born 1979 in KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa. He has a deep passion for poetry and is often compelled to express his thoughts and emotion in diverse literary forms, from prose to haiku, depending on the creative inspiration at the moment. In 2012, he was diagnosed with Dissociative Identity Disorder, which has led to some unique challenges in his personal and professional life. Nevertheless, he strives to pour his heart and soul out through his verse and is the author of seven poetry collections, all of which can be found on Amazon. Today, we will be reading a sampling of poems that Stuart submitted through LadyAaron.com that he hopes will inspire others and give them a look into his world. This poem is called Meet Me at the Mire. At the quadrivium, my mind doth roam, searching for the bean, my heart doth comb through the cosmic depths of my surreal soul to find the path that leads me to my goal. The intellectual rose, my heart's desire, growing from the dust of my past's mire. She waits for me, a beacon of light, guiding me through the darkness of night. To the quadrivium, the crossroads of fate, where my holistic self and her love await. Together we'll blossom and forever bloom in the surreal, alliterative world of our own making, a cosmic womb. This poem is called Paper Demons. She gave me no guidance, no script. So I penned my pain with ink and page, this troubled poet, this ashen face, exercising monsters through the ink of rage. On sheets of paper, I create my scenes, wild paper gardens, silent paper screams. For any and all of life's many seasons, I'll always call forth my paper demons. This poem is called Harlots of Heaven. Coiled tight beneath serpentine hide, roaming the arid desert beyond mortal bounds, I beheld the face of my deity. Scything through the sand, serpentine trails, I discovered my killing field, a sense of safety. Breathe in, breathe out, piercing the air. This is my destiny. Unleashing the lucid journey, dancing with the harlots of heaven, Vivid hallucinations, venomous and vexing. Can you hear me laughing at their rigid visages? This poem is called Perfectly Mundane. The years they slip away like a whisper on the wind, haunching shoulders heavy with dismay, a promise of forbidden love a sin. Many welcome another day with the bottle's bitter kiss. They seek the sun, but I the rain. They hope, but I find pain. The promise of a new year is just a lie, a cheat. For every day is the same. Sunrise, then sunset, perfectly mundane. We drink the poison, lips glistening, ignite the sky, fuel desire's fire, but will never please them all. It's a circle spinning higher, perfectly mundane. This poem is called I Am. I am a storm raging in the night, my darkness a tempest, a never-ending fight, against the light, against the day, embracing the shadows as they sweep me away. Into a world of surrealistic dreams, 
where the lines between reality and fantasy gleam. The needle, a knife, slicing through my veins, releasing the poison, numbing the pain. I am a shattered mirror, broken and scarred, my reflection a stranger, unrecognized and barred, from the world of the living, the world of the light. I exist in the shadow, a ghost in the night. But even in death, I am alive, my darkness a prison from which I can't hide. So hold me, my love, as we walk through the darkness above. Embrace the shadows, embrace the unknown. Together, we'll never be alone. Thank you for listening to this episode of Present Poetry. If you enjoyed it, please leave us a review, share us on social media, or subscribe so you never miss an episode. If you would like to learn more about the featured poet, or you would like your work featured on the podcast, please check out the links in the show notes. Thank you again for listening, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.